What is a nested case control study? Have you ever wondered how researchers study rare diseases without needing to gather data from thousands of people? One effective method is the nested case control study. This design cleverly combines aspects of both case control and cohort studies. Let's break it down to see how it works. In a nested case control study, researchers select cases and controls from a larger cohort. A cohort is simply a group of individuals who share certain characteristics and are followed over time. For example, if researchers are studying a specific disease, the cohort might consist of individuals who are at risk for that disease. Now, what are cases? Cases are individuals within this cohort who have developed the outcome of interest, like a specific disease. On the other hand, Controls are those who have not developed the outcome by the time the case occurred. Researchers typically match controls to cases based on certain criteria to ensure they are comparable. One of the main advantages of this design is its efficiency. Instead of collecting data from the entire cohort, researchers focus on a smaller subset. This approach reduces both the cost and effort required for data collection and analysis. Generally, Researchers select one two for controls for each case, which helps maintain a good balance between cost and statistical power. When it comes to selecting controls, there are different methods. One common approach is risk set sampling, where controls are chosen at the time each case occurs. Another method is cumulative sampling, where controls are selected based on not having developed the outcome over a specified period. Statistical analysis in nested case control studies is crucial. Researchers must account for how controls were selected. Common techniques include conditional logistic regression, which adjusts for the matched design, and inverse probability weighting to handle missing data. It is important to avoid treating the selected cases and controls as if they were randomly sampled from the entire cohort. Doing so could lead to biased estimates which can affect the study's findings. Nested case control studies are particularly useful in biomarker research. They allow researchers to efficiently examine the relationship between biomarkers and disease outcomes while keeping the timing of exposure and outcome in mind. This design is also cost-effective, as it enables detailed data collection from cases and controls without needing extensive data from the entire cohort. In summary, nested case control studies offer a practical approach to observational research. They balance statistical efficiency with cost considerations, making them ideal for studying rare outcomes or those requiring detailed measurements. This method is a valuable tool in the context of observational cohort studies and contributes significantly to scientific methodologies for statistical analysis.